Hello investors, welcome back to Personal Defense YouTube channel. I am Divya Grover. In this video, we will deep dive into a comparative analysis of two popular multi-cap funds, namely Nippon India Multi-Cap Fund and Quant Active Fund. Over the past couple of years, the Indian stock market has witnessed a sustained period of positive trend, driven primarily by a remarkable resurgence in mid and small cap stocks. This was complemented by significant advancements in the major large cap indices. The impressive rally in the mid cap and small cap segments has played a crucial role in propelling the Indian stock market to record high levels. Notably, the recent performance of mid and small cap stocks has been exceptionally remarkable, outpacing the growth of their large cap counterparts and helping boost the performance of the broader markets. Multi cap funds have benefited immensely from the broad based rally in the equity market. So let us first understand what are multi cap funds. Multi cap funds are equity mutual funds that invest across large, mid and small cap companies, thus offering diversification across the market cap spectrum through a single fund. These funds are required to maintain a minimum exposure of 25% in each segment regardless of the market conditions. With substantial exposure across the investment universe, multi cap funds can potentially generate superior returns for investors in the long run without any concentration risk. Multi-cap funds offer investors a mix of high growth potential through exposure to mid-cap and small-cap stocks as well as stability from investments in large-cap companies. Multi-cap funds can perform differently in various market conditions. During bullish phases, they may lean towards smaller and mid-sized companies for potential high growth, while in bearish markets, they may shift towards larger, more stable companies for safety. Let us now move on to the comparison of two schemes which can equip you with the knowledge to make an informed investment decision. Launched in March 2005, Nippon India Multicap Fund is the erstwhile Reliance Equity Opportunities Fund that was later renamed as Reliance Multicap Fund after its categorization under multi-cap funds. Unlike most of its peers that prefer to maintain a large cap biased portfolio and later migrated to the flexi cap fund category. Nippon India Multicap Fund has always been a true to name multi-cap fund that holds a well-balanced allocation across market caps. With an AUM of Rs 30,500 crore, Nippon India Multicap Fund is the largest scheme in the multi-cap fund category. The fund has done well and flourished under the supervision of Mr. Shailesh Rajbhan, who aims to identify high growth potential and fundamentally sound stocks across industries but that are available at reasonable valuations. Meanwhile, Quant Active Fund was launched in March 2001 by Escorts Mutual Fund. Notably, the EMC was later acquired by the Quant Group in 2018 and the scheme was renamed. Earlier, in the absence of any allocation limit for multi-cap funds, Quant Active Fund used to dynamically manage exposure across market caps depending on the market conditions and generally maintain a large cap biased portfolio with tactical allocation to mid and small caps. It now maintains and on par exposure across market caps. The past performance of Quant Active Fund was ordinary and it struggled to maintain a sustainable lead over the benchmark and the category average. However, in recent years, the fund has maintained a strong track record and ranked among the top performers in the multi cap fund category. This helped it emerge as one of the largest schemes in the multi cap fund category, having an AUM of Rs 9,790 crore. In terms of investment style and strategy, the two funds have displayed sharp contrast to one another. Nippon India Multicap Fund aims to seek both growth and value stocks that are likely to benefit from the growth in the economy with a special focus on high ROE companies. It adopts a blend of the top-down and bottom-up approaches to stock selection and takes active sector calls. While picking stocks, the fund endeavors to identify opportunities ahead of the market even though it may result in underperformance in the short term. Nippon India Multicap Fund prefers to avoid momentum driven bets and focuses on high conviction long term bets. It emphasizes building a portfolio comprising a combination of market leaders, sustainable alpha creators and emerging niche themes. Though the fund currently has a low turnover ratio of around 30 to 35 percent, it does not hesitate to occasionally churn a portion of the portfolio to benefit from stock and sector specific opportunities. In terms of Quant Active Fund, till early 2021, the fund followed a dynamic investment approach to invest across market caps without any limits. However, it now follows the revised investment limits for multi-cap funds as defined by SEBI. 
unlike nippon india multi cap fund contactee funds follows a momentum based strategy to identify attractive looking opportunities across stocks and sectors it selects stocks by analyzing them on on its proprietary vlrt framework which assesses the stocks on their valuations liquidity risk and timing contactee fund follows an aggressive investment approach wherein it constantly looks for opportunities to generate high alpha in other words the fund holds many of its stocks with a short term view and as a result the fund has recorded a high portfolio turnover of around 80 to 285% in the last one year let us now compare how the two funds have fared in terms of returns after a period of muted growth between 2019 and 20 nippon india multi cap fund has recovered and outpaced quantactee funds by around 8.5 percentage points in the last one year period and by 2 percentage points over a 3 year period on a rolling returns basis meanwhile over the longer 5 year 7 year and 10 year periods quantactee fund has emerged as a category leader notably its stellar performance in recent years has slightly boosted its long term returns quantactee fund and nippon india multi cap fund have also outpaced the broader nifty 500 tri index across time frames when compared to the category average two both schemes stand out as a top performing candidates across time frames both schemes have displayed noteworthy long term returns with quantactee fund currently faring better than its peers and benchmark the risk return profile is another key parameter to compare mutual funds quantactee fund frequently churns its portfolio which has resulted in higher volatility compared to its peers and the benchmark on the other hand Nippon India Multi Cap Fund has registered reasonable volatility, which is nearly in line with the category average and the benchmark. In terms of risk-adjusted returns, as denoted by the Sharpe and Sortino ratios, Nippon India Multi Cap Fund clearly stands out much ahead of its peers and the Nifty 500 index. Quantactee Fund too has outpaced the Nifty 500 index, but has trailed some of its peers. Let us now analyze the market cap allocation of the two schemes. classified as multi cap funds both nippon india multi cap fund and contactee fund are mandated to invest a minimum of 25% of their assets each in large cap mid cap and small cap stocks as of april 30 2024 nippon india multi cap fund was fully invested in equities it invested 41.4% of its assets in large cap stocks along with 26.5% in mid cap stocks and 31.1% in small cap stocks its market cap allocation has not witnessed major fluctuation in the last one year on the other hand quantactee fund is quick in its approach to shift allocation between market caps depending on the market conditions the fund currently holds 37.7% of its assets in large caps and about 25% each in mid cap and small cap stocks it also held an allocation of 7.7% in futures for hedging purpose Let us now move on to the portfolio composition of the two schemes. Multi cap funds have the flexibility to invest from a large universe of stocks which allows them to identify high alpha opportunities. Nippon India Multi Cap Fund usually holds around 90 to 100 stocks in its portfolio. As of April 2024, Nippon India Multi Cap Fund held a large portfolio of 104 stocks with the top 10 stocks accounting for 33.7% of its assets. Names like HDFC Bank, Line India, EIH, ICICI Bank, and Axis Bank currently figure among its top portfolio holdings. It is noteworthy that Nippon India Multi Cap Fund has a long tail of over 75 stocks, having an allocation of less than 1% in each. These stocks account for around 37.5% of its assets, and many of these small exposure stocks have been in the portfolio for well over a year now. Meanwhile, Quantactee Fund usually holds 45 to 55 stocks in its portfolio. As of April 2024, Quantactee Fund held 51 stocks in the portfolio, with the top 10 stocks accounting for 43% of its assets. Reliance Industries, Geo Financial Services, IRB Infrastructure Developers, Aurobindo Pharma, and Punjab National Bank currently form part of the fund's top allocation. The fund's top holdings witnesses frequent changes. Only a handful of stocks such as Reliance Industries, IRB Infrastructure Developers, and Punjab National Bank have constantly found a place among the prominent contenders in the fund's portfolio. Moving on, when deciding between two or more similar schemes, one can shortlist them based on their expense ratios. The expense ratio of Quantactee Fund 
under the direct plan is substantially lower than that of Nippon India Multicap Fund. Meanwhile, under the regular plan, Nippon India Multicap Fund offers a cost advantage which can result in higher net returns for investors. Do note that a lower expense ratio can translate into potentially higher returns over time. Over the long term, even a seemingly small difference in expense ratio can make a big difference to your overall returns. However, it should not be the sole parameter for selecting a scheme for your portfolio. And finally, the schemes that you choose must align with your risk profile and investment objectives. With a focus on long-term growth, Nippon India Multicap Fund aims to identify high growth potential stocks by following the growth at reasonable price approach. At an AUM of Rs 30,500 crore, Nippon India Multicap Fund maintains a highly diversified portfolio comprising a large number of stocks spread across various market caps and sectors. While the fund aims to steer clear of chasing market momentum, it has done well to identify long-term high growth opportunities available across market segments. While Nippon India Multicap Fund is not a great bear market performer, its performance during bull phases has been commendable. Its focus on maintaining a balanced allocation in fundamentally sound large cap, mid cap and small cap stocks helps it perform in line with the broader markets and do well over complete market cycles. Nippon India Multicap Fund is suitable for investors looking to benefit from a potential broad based market growth through a static allocation across market caps with a long term view of at least 5 to 7 years. On the other hand, while Quantactive Fund's past performance was rather unimpressive, since 2020, the fund has registered robust growth and has created an impressive performance track record. The fund now stands among the category toppers across medium to longer time frames. Quantactive Fund's active investment approach and the ability to timely identify multi-bagger ideas have helped it to generate remarkable lead over the benchmark and its prominent peers. Although Quantactive Fund frequently churns its portfolio, it carries a higher turnover ratio it has managed to reward investors reasonably for the level of risk taken. The sizable exposure to mid caps and small caps and the ability to identify high growth stocks enables it to boost portfolio returns. It also holds significant allocation to large cap stocks that can offer stability and steady growth to the portfolio. It is suitable for investors with a high risk appetite for the aggressive portion of their portfolio within investment horizon of at least 5 to 7 years. This brings us to the end of the fund comparison. Do let us know which schemes you would like us to compare next in the comment section. Please note that this video is for information purpose and does not constitute any kind of investment advice or a recommendation to buy, hold or sell a fund. Returns mentioned herein are in no way a guarantee or promise of future returns. For more guidance on mutual fund investments, subscribe to Personal Life Fund's YouTube channel. If you like this video, Please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends and relatives. Signing off for now. Happy investing. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risk. Read all scheme related documents carefully. Registration granted by SEBI, membership of BASL and certification from NISM in no way guarantee performance of the intermediary or provide any assurance of returns to investors. Investment in securities market are subject to market risk. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.